Dane Young, WRBL. Coach Muschamp's scowl is pretty famous. Have you seen it, and can you do an impression of it? His what? Now? His scowl, the look on his face when he gets kind of angry. Oh, oh man. Uh, I, I try to kind of look away when he's giving that to me. I, I, don't, <laughs> I don't really look him in the eyes all the time if I'm you know, on the other end of that look. But I mean, I don't know. It's something kind of a, <laughs> a little crazy. <laughs> Uh, you've been through the ups and downs, the roller coaster ride that has been Auburn football the past few years. What do you like most about this team, and how does this team set apart from years past? Well, I've learned a lot, um, you know, from my time being at Auburn University. Uh, this past uh, year has has really shown me a lot of uh, what I what I could be capable of and what we could be capable as of as a team. Um, and we came close in a lot of situations, but. Um, you know, uh, didn't really pan out in a few games, but you know, we kind of, kind of hit a wall. I feel like we, um, you know, we weren't able to get a whole lot of pressure on the quarterback this past year, um, being the main thing. But you know, with all the talent we have coming in and um, the guys we have now, we we've had in the past being able to mature and everything. I feel like it's gonna only go up from here. Um, we're we're extremely excited about this uh, season coming up and and excited about uh, what we can do defensively. Chris, when, when Coach Muschamp shows up in Auburn and you, the defense pops in the film for the first time, what kind of demeanor did you see on his face when he was looking at Auburn's defense from last year, and how did he articulate that to you guys? Well, he just knew we had a whole lot of work to do. Um, he knew that we, um, the, we, we play with passion all the time, which is a great thing. We never lacked that. But, you know, just being in the right position, being uh, – you know, being able to do different things and, and being comfortable where we're at, I feel like that's the thing that he wanted to change the most is, is just, you know, everybody being on the same page. And so far, that it, it's, it's been amazing how the, the, the change we've had in everyone being on the right page and, and, you know, flying around and just being excited, you know, each and every single day to play. You know, I, I know um, personally I, I love it. I love the experience and, you know, I'm, I'm so excited to play my last year at Auburn University for him. You and Casanova McKenzie both decided not to declare for the draft. You're both back. What is that relationship like for you guys, and how big is it to have you guys both back on the field in this rebuilding year on the defense? Well, we prayed about it a lot together, um, the decision to come back. And um, me and Cass have always been extremely co close uh, ever since he stepped on campus. And, um, you know, the, the ability he has, just, just like Trey, is, is, is amazing. Um, he, you know, the things he's able to do sometimes at practice were just kind of like, wow. And, um, you know, coming back was, you know, just big for us because we, we knew what we wanted to do. We knew the impact we wanted to make on the SEC as well as uh, uh, on the country, you know, as far as uh, being premier linebackers. And um, I feel like that was extremely important in our decision on coming back. We, we talked about it day in and day out, um, you know, pretty much every night, the decision to come back. And, um, you know, when we, we both made that decision, you know, as individuals, but at the same time, we, we made that decision, you know, for pretty much the same reasons. You know, we love Auburn, and we're, we're extremely excited about, you know, taking on uh, a, a great schedule that we have coming up this year.